Most controller players in Apex Legends are obsessed with one thing, finding the best settings. Now, I know you're guilty of this. You hop on to your favorite streamer's chat, watch them play for a few minutes, you see them pop off, and you wonder, hmm, what sensitivity he or she plays on? You do the command, screenshot the settings, you get on Apex, you put them on, and boom, you should be ready to go, right? wrong. You see, the thing about these settings that the pros use is that they won't work for you necessarily. Since each controller is different, it's hard to use the exact same settings they use. Your controller might be newer and have less stick drift, your stick tension might be looser or grippy, or you might use a taller stick and they aren't, or vice versa. There are so many variables that make it impossible to just copy and paste someone else's settings and expect instant results, but it is a good place to start. After granting Apex for two years only on M and K, I decided to try a controller. I looked everywhere for the best settings for roller, and I went to the god himself for some guidance. This is Jen Burton. He's an LGS champion and one of the best controller players in the game. His fast flicks and insane tracking and recoil control has gained him massive recognition in the Apex community. And also... A bunch of accusations. But the thing that made him stand out a lot more is the way that he uses ALCs or advanced loop controls. I used those settings at the beginning of the video and you can see that they're not easy to use. And now that I know that Jen Burns ALCs are stupidly fast, I tweaked them a bit to my liking. I ran a few games to see if they feel right and here's how it went. Oh, wait a minute. Alright, the LCs are actually like not that bad. I'm still I'm still getting used to them. We gotta keep going though. We gotta we gotta keep going. Now I know that I wanna have fast sense, but how fast is good enough without losing control? I would go to the firing range and do something other than shooting the targets. I ran three different drills and slowly adjusted the ALCs until I felt comfortable. But why run drills in the firing range when I can just open aim laps and practice there with my controller? Well, yeah, you can do that, but that would mean that you need to close the firing range, go back to the lobby, close Apex. Open Steam. Look for aim laps. Open aim laps. Look for the scenario. Boring. Yeah, I'm good with that one, Chief. Drill number one. I will use my crosser and go from target to target to practice my centering. Always aiming from the neck up. If I'm having trouble controlling my crosser when transferring from the different targets, I turn my LCs down a bit and keep going. Once I wasn't under dragging or over dragging, I knew that I was at the sweet spot. Drill number two. Now, my goal on this drill is to go to one dummy, hit a one clip with the SMG, then immediately turn 180 degrees and beam the other dummy behind me with my AR. This will help me replicate a real in game situation where once I finish taking a 1v1, I turn around and beam whoever is shooting me in the back. If I turn too much to either the left or right, I will adjust my LCs a bit till it feels right or till I get my muscle memory down and my thumb knows exactly when to stop pulling my stick to complete a full 180. Drill number three. This drill is simple. I'd go to one dummy, hit him with one clip, reload, and do the same thing to the other dummy. And do this while strafing or crouch strafing. Because in a real game, you won't be standing still while you're shooting your gun. If I'm really struggling to hit my shots after practicing for a while, I'll adjust my AOCs if needed. Because of the first thing that I noticed was my response curve. I had it on eight and it feels a little bit muddy to the point where it feels like I'm fighting the aim assist, if that makes sense. I like the feel of a lower response curve since it's like way more sensitive and I feel more in control of my joystick. It feels smooth. It kind of feels like more natural to me. I'll tweak the yaw and the pitch as well, but I'll be screwing around with my response curve a lot more and then just bringing it down until it feels right. Run these drills in the firing range when warming up and it will help you immensely. But okay, okay. You're crazy to think that only shooting bots is gonna help me win gunfights. And you're right. Well, luckily, Apex brought back one of the best LTMs it's had in years control. Holy the best part of control is that you get to respawn multiple times, which allows you to take fights, 
Make mistakes. Oh. And learn from them. And you can repeat this over and over and over and over again. Okay. Most of the fighting happens on the B flag, so go there. W key everything or forward stick. You know what I mean. And don't play it scared. More gunfights, the better. By the time that I post this, control will be gone for a bit. But the rumor is that it will come yeah. back next season as a permanent mode, replacing okay. arenas. So when it comes back, take advantage of it. Now that I ran the drills, control, and a few pub games, I ran one last pub with my personal ALCs that feel comfortable for me. And here's how it went. Caustic Watson, bro. And in case you're curious, these are my final ALC settings that I ended up using. If you're new to controller, and specifically if you're new to controller in Apex, screw around with the response curve a little bit. Because I feel like this just depends on the type of player that you are. A lot of people that come from Call of Duty kind of run the uh, aid response curve. It just didn't feel right for me, so I brought it down to zero. But if you're new to Apex and controller, I recommend running on uh, aid response curve. You can use these settings if you want to. Again, you don't have to. And yeah, go out there and have fun. In the end, it's personal preference. ALCs, 4-3 classic, up to you. If you want to find the true best ALC settings, run this drills in the firing range play some pubs and tweak them as you go and you will finally have the right settings for you and that's it if you enjoyed the video feel free to like and subscribe and i'll see you on the next one peace